Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to day 22 of RPG A Day 2015. Uh, today's topic, let's have a look, uh, it is a perfect gaming environment. I guess this one is mostly trying to discuss um, what your favourite environment for actually playing the game is. Is it sitting around the dining room table or the kitchen table or something like that? Would you prefer a slightly more relaxed atmosphere? Or is there something that you really like about the, the buzz of playing a game at a convention? To help with this tricky topic, um, I recruited the rather awesome Shanna Germain from uh, Monty Cook Games to help out. Uh, she's probably best known working on things like uh, Numenera, um, No Thank You Evil. Um, which, is, which is a great game because it's, uh, it's encouraging kids to get into, into gaming. And it's, I know a lot of people saying, oh, you, can, you can't get new gamers in, interested anymore. And it's not a case of getting new gamers who are new current. It's possibly the best thing is to try and get kids, the next generation of gamers interested. Try to get them away from playing things on the tablets and on the phones and on the consoles and stuff like that. So that's a brilliant game. That one, you should check that one out, definitely. Okay, let's see what she has to say. I'm Shauna Germain, co-owner of Monty Cook Games, and I'm here to talk a little bit today about my favorite RPG environment, my favorite place or environment in which to play or run games. Um, they're the same for me, whether I'm a player or a GM, so I'm gonna talk about it from the GM perspective. Uh, I really like a place where I can control every aspect of the environment um, because I like to use the five senses away from the table to enhance what's happening at the table. Uh, so I like a place where I can control the lighting. If I want it to be candlelight, if I want it to be low light, if I want it to start dim and then and then get brighter as time moves forward and, and the day kind of rises. Uh, I like to use music and sound effects, um, really subtle, kind of in the background, often um, things that the players might not even notice at first, um, but then there's a sense of impending dread that you know, is really escalated by what they're listening to. Uh, things like candles and other elements can add a real good <laughs> sense of scent. Um, you know, there is even candles that are like the scent of dead bodies or the scent of the corpse. Um, if you want to kind of go in that direction, I tend to stick with other uh, scents that um, are a little bit nicer. But you could certainly use stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, the things that you see at the table um, and those kinds of things. And, and tactile. There's a real difference between playing a game uh, sitting in a couch than there is sitting at the table and what happens when you start on the couch for example and then move the players to the table their posture shifts their expectations shift um, I like to be able to control the timing of all of those elements and and adjust them uh, to give the players the greatest sense of the feeling that I'm going for whether that's doom or excitement or humor um, there's just so much that you can do when you can control all of those elements thank you Shanna that's brilliant uh, right Favourite gaming environment for me is a tricky one, I suppose. As a kid, I say a kid, as a teenager, most of my gaming was done around a table. Uh, around at friend Pete's place, we had a nice round table in the kitchen. Uh, back at my mum's, we used to have a very large um, round dining table in the back room that we used to play around. Um, but I kind of got very into playing in a slightly more relaxed atmosphere. And that's possibly when the best gaming that I, I did um, really, really came through. I, uh, it was when I was playing um, World of Darkness stuff, I was playing Mage and Cult. And we didn't bother with tables or anything like that. We just kind of sat around on the floor. And this was mostly because we were in a place without a table. Yeah, we were in a very small, what was student digs. And um, we really didn't have much furniture at all. So it was a case of cushions on the floor, sitting around, bit of cool mood music in the background uh, and very little lighting because it made cult and witchcraft and um, mage, original mage, certainly a lot more spooky and quite eerie and it gave a great feel for especially when all the characters were mostly sulky goths and spent a lot of time in the nightclubs just when they weren't battling the forces of evil or becoming the forces of evil themselves. So that's probably my favourite gaming environment. So what's yours? Uh, do you prefer the table with the GM screen and everything like that? I have very fond memories of my first D&D &D game because Pete, hi Pete, um, used to have the GM screen to end all GM screens. It was 
two huge chunks of um, I honestly don't know what it was, possibly hardboard, chipboard, um, three by three feet, feet that is, not inches, um, two chunks of that uh, on a hinge and you couldn't see him, not a single bit of him, it was just, it towered over us, over the table and all you could see was this, this imposing wall of doom and all you used to get was the um, pencil eraser thrown over the top to rub out that character sheet because you're dead. God, that was great. Uh, one particular player was so um, determined to actually see the DM for all that D&D, he used one of those propelling pencils and dug a small hole through. It took many, many weeks and dug a small th hole through so he could see through. Um, Pete wasn't impressed and filled it full of Araldite, I think. Okay, on to you. What's your favourite gaming environment? Uh, tell us all. Don't forget to hashtag everything with RPG a day 2015 and share it on all the social medias and um, don't forget you can download the image to see what the last few questions are for the rest of the month. Uh, there's the image there. Uh, kindly produced by Will Brooks. Uh, download it using the link that's in the text underneath the video. There it is. And, um, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next question. Until then, stay multi-classy.